Bernard Yoris, your boy YG, and the NBA draft was just the other night. And because we're not too deep into the Jaden Ivy series, I decided to go ahead and start over. I am on PC for people who are new to the channel and don't know what we got going on over here. So I went and found a roster. Shout out to this guy for actually updating the roster with the draftees on each team. He doesn't have them all, but he does, I think, have like the top 10, which is perfect for us because we are doing the Jaden Ivy series. So he's got the updated roster so far. If you're watching in the future, then the roster is probably not the same. I'm sure there have been some trades, et cetera, et cetera. But I just had to double back and go ahead and do it. Now, I will not be doing it for the J.D. Davidson, my career for the people who are watching that because it's literally the last episode coming out tomorrow so i had to run it back and of course me running it back i had to add the badges to Jaden that i felt like he deserved i'm pretty excited to see how my boy will do on this team irl especially considering detroit they kind of do have a point guard a shooting guard you know they already have people in those roles so it'll be interesting to see how detroit puts Jaden ivy in but i hope you guys are ready I'm ready. Let's stop talking about it. Let's go ahead and be about it, Bobby. Scat it. Okay, you see, we got the Orlando Magic today. Yes, sir. We had to go up against Paulo and them boys, man. All right, K. Sadiq, what we doing tonight? Hopefully, it's getting a dub. Ooh -wee. Yes, sir. You see the lineup. Markel, welcome back, baby. I hope you have a great year, IRL. You see them boys. P5. Come on, baby. All right, I see the Wagner brothers out here. Okay, they came to hoot today. I ain't mad at it. But Chad sing it to me one time. Jump ball, get it, get it. Jump ball, get it. Oh, Lord. Let's get right into it, man. Y'all already know, man. We got some of the best NBA draft picks out here. And as you can see, Jaden Ivey with his first bucket in a Detroit Pistons uniform. His first steal as well. We pushing a fast break. Go ahead, Kate. And we looking good, man. Out here in the D, you feel me? Shout out to all the Detroit Pistons fans. I hope your NBA draft dreams came true. <laughs> you are definitely not a loser in my book. Jaden Ivey is definitely a steal. I feel like a lot of people might have slept on Jaden just because I feel like he might have had an early exit in the tournament. But it is what it is. I've been telling y'all Jaden Ivey was that dude. I'm not new to this, chat. I'm true to this. You feel me? Coming down that lane. You know what I mean, like, come on. I honestly feel like K, Jaden Ivey, uh, Sadiq. I don't know, man. I think this lineup right here might be good. I just need Marvin. Look at P5, Paulo with the big three. I just need Marvin Bagley, bro. Just to lock in, bro. Step back up. Be that Marvin Bagley that everybody knew you could be when they drafted you. You feel me? And then I feel like Detroit would be a well-rounded team. I don't know how Kelly Olynyk got that steal from Jalen Slug, but he's gold. Don't chase him down because we can't fly. You feel me? Only a five-point lead. Wait a minute. Make it seven. And Jalen and them boys was taken off. I can't lie. Look at the travel right here. 2K really had something up their sleeves. <laughs> but it's okay. I still believe. We got a five-point lead. Ooh, we. Hold on. Bang. I got a bars today, chat. Stop playing with me. Give me that block. Very athletic Jaden Ivey is. <laughs> you see him with that takeover. I'm trying to take over. Skip into the lane, you feel me? Calling for the screen. What we gonna do with it? Uh, throw it down then. Ain't mad. Not trying to lose this debut as I, wait a minute. <laughs> boy, we need a timeout, boy. Golly. I ain't know he had it in him like that. Fast forward to the fourth. We sat on the bench and Detroit went to time. You feel me? <laughs> It's going down. I'm not from Ace Time. Hold on. Look at all the boys. All right. We getting assist now. Looking like Mr. Triple Double might make a reoccurrent or reappearance. I don't know the word. <laughs> don't judge me. 95 to 102. Wait a minute. Get it. Don't let it realm. 95 to 104 is the final score. And look at the boys excited. All right. I like it, man. I like it. I'm getting goosebumps, chat. These boys might do some IRL. You never know. And look at Paulo. You got to get used to the loser, baby. You in Orlando. Yes, sir. Next game. Of course, we got Chet Hongri. Usain Dang. I don't know how to say his name. But the young man went crazy this game. You hear me? And look at Chet on the boards already. And this is going to be a tough matchup. Now, y'all know how 2K do. On paper, things could be a lot different than they will be IRL. I'm not a firm believer in Chet Holmgreen. 
I don't know. That's just me though. His frame is way too thin. I feel like he gets he's gonna get bullied by by bigger guys like Jokic and things like that. I don't know if they're gonna put him at the four. A lot of people are being real crazy and very disrespectful talking about, oh, he's got the same body type as KD. Yeah, but he ain't KD. Like, let's not do that. It's not a lot of people with their body frame that are successful besides KD. You can't really name like five other players besides KD with that body frame that are successful right now like KD is. So I think it's very unfair to try to compare him to KD. And I feel like it's very disrespectful to compare him to KD as well because KD is, is that guy, bro. I don't think Chet is going to be that guy. Is in for a rude awakening? Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But he's going to have to prove a lot of people wrong. And look at Dang doing the Dang thing. Usman. He's going crazy. And so is Jaden, bro. Not trying to lose. 52 to 43. But it's just too much power, bro. Like I said, these boys are dominant on paper. And they are... <laughs> And when you add that, mix it in that Hall of Fame with my sliders, things are going to get very difficult. Usman, dang, again, I'm probably saying his name so wrong, but he's doing Detroit. It's so dirty right now. Fast forward to the third brother. Look at the score. Have you taken a gander? <laughs> it's 66 to 51, taking the baseline, just doing what I want. But it's not about the scoring. It's about the defense, bro. Kelly Olenek giving up, trying to guard Chet is impossible, right? And again, he just does it again. Oh, my God. I just realized, bro, we're talking about comparing him to KD. Why did 2K put him in 35? This is crazy. The disrespect. We won't stand for it. That's why we sitting down. Taking it to the realm. And it's garbage hours at this point. Again, I don't know why we cannot guard Chet Holmgren on that slow little pick and roll. I don't know. Maybe this is predicted in the future, bro. We've done it before. Look at the, oh my Lord, the vision to Cade. We've done it before. Before uh, they had JD on the Celtics when I redid Jaden's uh, draft. So I don't know. Maybe 2K knows something that we don't know. But what we do know is the score is 103 to 85. Yeah, 103 to 85. And Lord, these boys got smushed. 109 to 89 is the final score. But like I said, we're going to get back through it and catch back up to where we were before I restarted. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more NBA 2K content just like this. And I got you guys. But until the next one, man, peace. Two, and you see Shu got his takeover, but he's sharing the wealth. And I know the NBA scouts are pleased to see that my boy is a playmaker. But hold on. What? We still can throw it down. Don't get it twisted. Don't have no conflictions. Y'all know what time it is. Look at Zaire forcing his way to the rim.